So the, some of these fake rocks popped off really easily, which is quite, quite amazing. And uh, so we're going to walk it and talk it and just fill in you guys on what, what, what's going on. Uh, and uh, a basic recolor project we got going on here. <laughs> we have the plastic that we pulled off. We're going to power wash around everywhere. There's a slight slurry that's there a little bit. We're going to be uh, getting the power washer set up and cleaning off the hardscape portions. And we're going to be blasting around the rocks a little bit. Little spot like right here with some of the repair work that we did. We're gonna scrape and scratch that a little bit. You always get a little bit of stuff that creeps under the tape and mask that you do and get that <coughs> all taken care of. The rock came out pretty cool. Like this crack right here, this whole chunk came off. And that whole side right there, that whole piece came off. It's probably 150, 200 pounds. A whole chunk came off, as well as some other areas all the way across here. So we took the piece of the puzzle we could use and we put them in there. We scratched and, sc and co scored both sides, the rock piece that popped off as well as the surface it was gonna be reapplied to. Mixed up a uh, uh, high strength, fast set um, uh, material, mortar mix basically, and mixed in with a little spec mix, a mortar mix, so it's a little bit thicker. And put that in there and type, tapped it and vibrated it. And, there was whole big old holes right here. Went all the way, you know, what about that far in some areas? So we got that dialed in. <laughs> We've got the the uh, coping stone here, as you can see, and the color is very light cream color. And then we got the deck, a little more of a, I don't know if it's pink or whatever, but it's got a certain hue to it. So we try to tie in the rock work in such a way that it complements. Try to do some splotchy dots and stuff, get some of the bleeds in there that you sometimes see. In there as I call them. <coughs> the spa, as you can see, is very dusty. That's all the grinding and cutting that we did doing that portion I just described. So we are fl filling up the spa and uh, we did lower the water level in the spa about a foot. The pool, um, enough to get down underneath that rock so we could actually paint that. We taped the whole thing off as I think you saw in some previous pictures. So funny rocks. Very interesting how other contractors make things, but uh, try to improve on it as best we could. Try and separate some of the stones. So there's a creamy one and a more of a brown one. And uh, we kept that process going throughout this feature as we worked our way up. You don't want to overdo it too much. Uh, at least that's my approach to these things. Um, real rocks do have a complete myriad of color, some extremely strong and and vigorous as it were but um, I tend to take a little more mild approach these little puddles in here excuse me will uh, completely evaporate and dry out and then that will leave those colors there so there's a little more uh, texture if you will to the feature um, <clears throat> we taped everything off all the way the fence up here this handrail probably should have painted that but it fits in a little bit ground off all this stuff on the slide we also had to replace some of the slide material. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's spots that are, there you go. You can, that's delaminated from the uh, surface underneath. Here's our fix, and that's solid as a rock. That's pure uh, acrylic, Sika brand acrylic admix. Maybe you can see this one a little better. You can hear the difference. That's Still, you could end up jackhammering the whole slide off. You can see the slide, the cracks and stuff. <clears throat> and it's not unusual to see that on uh, tiles and uh, tiles not so much, but coping stones, when they put that on the edge of the coping, the heat, hot, cold cycle causes them to delaminate a little bit. But they can sit there for years and years. So we just did the major loose areas. You can see that right there, pretty bad. And made, you know, got that going. We ground it again with the cup diamond grinder just make it feather smooth all the way down we're letting that cure for a, a few days so we can be sure that the uh, epoxy coating we're going to do epoxy then polyurethane sticks really good that's what the recommendations are of the manufacturer so we will do that and uh there's a quite a few of these little spots that we had to patch so we got those <coughs> going on little bleeds little highlights just try to throw some variety into the, into the feature that uh, we're trying to make a look a little more natural. 
It's just very strange. It's a very coarse uh, finishing technique of the company that built this. You can see here they just troweled in and just left it rough. And, you know, I guess that's okay, you know. Um, it's obviously a stamp method. You can see the stamp that was used. And then there's a little brushing they did on this. That may be a waterproofing coat on top, maybe, for some reason. I ain't sure for sure, but maybe. And so, uh, I think there's a persimmons bush. Anyway, so <laughs> we taped off this whole side all the way around here, pulled the plants back as best we could, um, patched up a little bit of the weir that was cracked and had rust showing through with some rebar. Try to make that rock a little different color than that rock. And uh, so that's something to, to always try to try to get some variety. But So there's subtle differences in the stones as you see them, but they're not, it's not too strong. You can do strong features for sure, but it has to fit the overall pool environment. And we have a, a more mild pool design here, the poured in place concrete, which is really nice, um, and the bright coping stone, sort of a cream tan as it were. And so you want it to fit. So that's the strategy of the color uh, choice here. Um, there were some cracks in there and we fixed those as best we could. Grind them in a dovetail fashion so they open up as you go into the crack and uh, <coughs> and uh, push in the mortar mix, high strength mortar and be good to go. So there you go, Mr. Dave on the rock pile again. So another one in the books. Uh, wherever you're at, hope you're having a good day. Remember to be thankful and forgiving no matter what. Um, the light will overtake, overcome the darkness in the end. So don't forget that. So we'll fight the good fight for freedom in America. 